Welcome back, everybody. I am Sarai McWeasel, and uh, I'm back in the uh, the Old North Church, where I have said I will go uh, meet up with Deacon and discuss uh, my um, my successful mission to retrieve uh, Doctor Carrington's prototype or whatever the hell that damn thing is and um and we're gonna get on with that uh quest but uh i also have like a couple of other things that i need to do so uh i i'm thinking at some point i should probably return to the cambridge police station to talk to the brotherhood of steel about what's going on there um i also have to go uh talk to nick about um my discoveries with uh with Kellogg and and the whole uh, missing son shenanigans, I I have no idea what exactly we supposed to we were supposed to have discovered from that, but um, we need to go find uh, find Nick and and talk to him about that. I think he's probably back in Diamond City, if I am not mistaken. Um, and I I think there's something else we forgot to do uh, when we finished up. Uh, when we finished up the the Far Harbor DLC, if I'm not mistaken, uh, or maybe not. Oh no, there's something here. Talk to Ellie. So I never went back and talked to Ellie. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not sure if we have to do that, but uh, I will get around to it soon. Uh, but first, we're going to uh, deal with this uh, this. This uh, this uh, whole railroad thing, I guess, and and say, hey, you know, we're back, and we've got this thing, and uh, what have you got to say about that? Um, now, something I should probably point out: I have dressed up Piper in some cool, uh, some cool new clothes. Uh, these are actually um, Kellogg's <laughs> clothing items uh, that I stripped from him. They actually have like a uh, thirty armor resist and thirty. Um, 30 energy resist, which is way better than what she was wearing. So, you know, I, I figure they look kind of cool and, uh, you know, it's it's not bad as a single piece outfit, uh, just to, just to uh, give us a bit of, a, a bit of armor uh, over what she had. And, uh, and yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I don't know whether, uh, oh, no, I'm still wearing this. Okay. No, that's probably okay. Um, because this is, uh, this is a talking thing, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I did actually... Uh, upgrade my gear a little bit, but we can get back to that in a moment. And the new guy patched me up, put me on his shoulder, and blasted his way through the rest of the complex. Synths everywhere. Carrying you the whole time? Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. <laughs> so is any of that true? Ah. Uh... Yes, yes it is. Every word he said was true, and then some. A full hundred. I, I can't even imagine. <laughs> See, just like I said, boss. I was expecting Deacon to grab a full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd be insane not to sign him up, Des. You've certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about, or lied about, anyone so highly before. Welcome to the railroad, agent. Oh, cool. Uh, all right. Um, uh, well, I guess I could ask her. Why should I join you? If you're having any doubts, you shouldn't. Not very many of us live to retirement. But if you're like me, that doesn't matter. There are great wrongs that need righting. Hmm. Okay. Well, you know, whatever. Uh, let's go. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. Now we need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. Oh. So what's yours? Oh, 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 okay. Uh, uh, you know, I, I've always been a little bit... Um... <laughs> no code name? Eh... Uh, fixer? Professor? I don't really like those. I think... Have any suggestions? No. It doesn't work like that. Your life, your name, your choice. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't like this because it's too close to the other guy that, um, uh, that they used to have. Uh, I, I think probably this is probably the best suited, uh, suited for my character. Call me 
Bullseye. Well, from what Deacon says of your fighting skills, Bullseye seems apt. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. All right, cool. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. The location of our HQ is one of our most tightly guarded areas, so be careful coming in or out. You never can tell when you're being watched. Ooh, secret doors. But yeah, um, because, you know, my character is kind of like a, a sniper and, and rifle user and um, and spends a lot of time in vats uh, racking up incredibly difficult... This is it. It may lack the amenities of the switchboard, but it's safe. Oh, and there you are. taking precautions not to be surprised again. Things are chaotic right now, so there's plenty for you to do. Okay. Eh? 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 Maybe I should put my gun away? <laughs> oh. Oh, that's an assault run. Listen up, everyone. This is Bullseye. He did the switchboard op with Deacon. He's a full agent, effective immediately. I'm counting on each of you to show him the ropes. Feel free to welcome him aboard. That is all. It's not an easy road you've chosen, but you're never alone in this. Cool, thanks. I, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing, but uh, uh, I appreciate it. Oh, I'm supposed to go talk to Dr. Carrington? That's right. Um, and there are, there are people I want to talk to in here. I want to find um, more information. I specifically want to talk to Glory if I can find her, but uh, first things first, let's, let's deal with this quest. Testimony told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this, but that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join HQ. It would have been nice if she had consulted with her second in command, but what's done is done. <laughs> Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. Yeah, don't worry about it, man. I, I, I'm, I'm good people. Uh, what's the attitude? Nah, let's just get to business. Cut to the chase. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with the runaway synth. H-222. So headquarters, as always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. The paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. Uh-huh. <laughs> dead drop? What's a dead drop? Come on, Blue. This is an amateur hour. Oh, dear lord. A dead drop is a mailbox with a rail sign on it. It's a common means of communication for us, so keep an eye out for them. When you make contact with Stockton, he won't give you the time of day unless you give him the proper countersign. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? And the counter is, mine is in the shop. Please tell me Deacon taught you that at least. Of course. Um, can we get on his good side? I don't know if it'll work. You can trust me with this. I'll get it done. You sound rather convincing, actually. Stockton is a prominent businessman at Bunker Hill. The dead drop will be near there. Use the escape tunnel in the back to get there quicker. So, you're not an idiot. Mm, uh, huh? <laughs> this, where's this coming from? Finally noticed. Took you this long to notice, huh? No, I, I didn't mean like... I could just use some help. This isn't the sort of thing I'd normally bother anyone else with, but you just seem really good with people, and I've got this issue with my sister, Nat, becoming me. That's creepy. Uh, <laughs> like a synth. <laughs> Wait, become you? Like, replace you? Is Nat a synth? Oh, well, there's something I'm going to lose sleep over for days, but no, <laughs> not like a synth. More like she's going to start following in my perilous footsteps. I mean, think about the life we lead. No offense intended, Blue, but personal safety doesn't exactly seem like either of our strong suits. I can't have her ending up like her big sister. Dodging bullets and running from all the people she pisses off. It's part of the reason I'm on the road so much. Part of the reason I'm here with you. I keep thinking, maybe if I make myself scarce, if I'm not around her enough, She'll cool off. She'll just go back to being sweet, innocent Nat, paper girl, and all around upstanding citizen. What do I do, Blue? Uh, yeah, no, it, it never works like that. Uh, 
Keep your distance. Just here for Nat. Can't change her. So you're here to get away from Nat? Well, I mean, there are other reasons. Uh, right now, the only thing I can think about is Nat. What do you think I should do? Huh. Uh... Yeah, let's go with this. You don't get to decide who Nat's gonna be, Piper. She does. All you decide is whether you want to be a part of her life or not. You're right. She's her own person and always will be. Thanks, Blue. Who'd expect wandering off with a stranger to turn out this well? They really don't make them like you anymore. <laughs> You're a hell of a friend, you know that? Hey, I'm an antique. Uh, I guess, yeah, we'll, we'll keep going with the flirting. Just friends, huh? But a friend for life. Ooh. Or at least as long as you don't start annoying me. Ooh. But hey, thanks again for listening. It's a real weight off my chest to be able to talk it out with someone. So, you want to hit the road? Oh, I totally got shot down there. That's depressing. And, uh, and what was calling... Uh, Welcome to the family. We're a colorful and arguably insane bunch. But you're stuck with us now. Speaking of which, if you don't mind a sidekick, let's keep a good thing going and travel together some more. Ah, uh, ah, <laughs> uh, uh, ask to join. What? Huh? Don't they need you here? My job's mainly intel, so the more places I go, the better I'm doing it. And you are just one big beautiful distraction. Plenty of opportunities to learn secrets moving around in your shadow. I, I... I don't know... what... Not right now. Well, if you change your mind. What was... what were you even sitting on? This is so weird, and these conversation dialogue options are confusing me. I... I don't know whether it's the mod that I'm using, or whether, um... They're just poorly phrased, and I've got Piper shooting me down and uh, calling me an amateur while I'm trying to get information from these people. None of this is going how I like it, but um, <laughs> all right, let's let's begin with the looting. Not even worth picking up, boss. What's that for? Oh, quiet, you guys. This is all really valuable stuff, and I am just going to relieve you from it because uh, clearly. Uh, I am your best operative. There is, uh, no use <laughs> in hoarding all this stuff. I am going to need every single bit of it, uh, to do my job. Uh, uh, yeah, I think. Mm. Are you injured? It's a wonder you and Glory don't set off metal detectors. Uh, not interested in talking to you, Doctor. But, um... Oh, that's the other thing I need to do. I do need... Ooh. I do need to lie down and oh, yeah. save the game because, uh, it has been a we'll while. And hold this position. Uh, is there anything else worth Working taking, Working with though? compartmentalized information is a difficult transition uh, for the agents. Noodle cups. Top, you gotta be careful. Never know when you're being watched. Noodle cups. That's so cool. I love noodle cups. Uh, duct tape... More noodle cups. Whiskey and more noodle cups. How many noodle cups do these guys have? Simps in play right now. Makes things really dangerous. Eh? 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 Oh, here we go. Okay. So we've got agents and safe houses. Yeah, see, Tommy Whispers is gone. Safe houses, apparently we have uh, some of them crossed off the list for various reasons. Oops. I didn't mean to take that. Um, um, we've got the the information on what all the, the rail signs mean. That's really I hope to God the Institute doesn't find us here. Helpful. At least not soon. Etc. etc. Alright. Um, oh, right, right, right. Yeah, we've got we've got this guy behind me. This More guy. What's going on and you know Trust me. Uh, I don't know whether we want to talk to this guy. <laughs> oh, why not? Hi. The sensor sweep says you're clean. Hooray! We're bug free. Uh huh. That's great. Yeah, that's great. Not so fast, man. Okay, have you eaten anything out there? 
Because if you have, they got you. <laughs> um. Are you seriously asking if I eat food? The food out there is dangerous. It's contaminated. That's why I grow my own food. Reclaimed pure water, local nutrients. Nothing goes in me that I don't see. That, that's how you stay safe. The Institute has these tiny microscopic robots in the food, man. And they report back. Tom, that's rubbish. You just don't get it, Carrington. The Institute is in your blood. <laughs> They're in my blood? Absolutely not. Tom, we ran your tests extensively. We found red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets. Everything you'd expect. And that doesn't get you the least bit suspicious. The results were too perfect, too expected, and that's how they fall. <laughs> uh, Could the Institute really do that? Look, everyone says Tinker Tom is crazy. Until I'm right, you gotta understand, those Institute scientists have centuries on us. Just working like crazy little bees, dreaming up the most messed up stuff you can imagine. Remember, in the blood. Okay, okay, if you really want to be safe. Let me give you a little shot. There's, there's the motor. Says no one has to, but it will kill those little robots. <laughs> there's battery acid in that serum of yours. You can't nuke an omelet without irradiating some eggs. <laughs> you ready to shoot up? Oh, oh, all right. Let's let's do it. Hit me, Tom. Yeah, now you talking. Oh, I I don't. That was was that. Reactions from various now people. Now you're encouraging oh. him. Hey, you, you get it, man. I make things around here. You, you go and do. You do whatever, and come back, and I will set you up. Oh, all right, sure. Um, let's see what you got. Make yourself comfortable and prepare to be astounded. Oh, okay. I, I'm feeling a little bit woozy now. <laughs> Um, Alright, so something else that I've noticed is that uh, my sniper rifle uh, takes these these weird rounds, these um, these 45-70 rounds, and I cannot buy them or acquire them anywhere. They seem to be uh, very Far Harbor specific, and this has me a little bit uh, worried because uh, I only have 18 rounds left on my sniper rifle, <laughs> uh, so... Uh, I don't I, I don't know where I'm gonna find some more. I'm gonna have to make my way back to uh um back to back to Far Harbor at some point, uh to to acquire some more. And um Yeah, that that's that's gonna be a real pain in the butt, actually. <laughs> I don't wanna have to do that. Oh, but uh it, it I don't think there's any other way around it because I have been to uh, every vendor I can I can think of to try and find some more and uh, nobody has any uh, which means uh, I do not have any other choice I'm gonna have to do, no, do I want those no I don't want those and I don't want those either all right um, yeah, yeah all right that's 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 fine we'll, we'll get on with things Ooh. Uh, all right, so yeah, I am uh, seriously low on hit points. I am thirsty, so I need some water anyway. Uh, that's going to heal me a little bit. Uh, I do need to save the game. So maybe we should just like, uh, just, uh, just lie down for a bit of a sleep <laughs> uh, for one hour. So, uh, maybe, oh, okay. I'm tired from lack of sleep anyway, so maybe just like a full eight hours, huh? Do I have food? Food? Food, food, food? Oh yeah, I've got noodle cups. But, um... They're more of a thirsty thing. Uh, mm, yeah. <laughs> let's, uh... Let's take the mutant hound drops and... Oh, that didn't cure my hunger. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's have another one. Oh, jeez. All right. Full eight hours of sleep. Does this... Does this restore health? I... I would have thought so, but maybe not. Maybe it doesn't in survival? 
You can't sleep more than five hours on a dirty mattress. Oh, I wake still tired. No! No! This Based is... off what Deacon said, I expect great things from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this isn't good. Bet you never met a synth before Glory. No, I have not. Um, I don't think so. Have I? In this playthrough? I, I can't even remember anymore. Uh, so where is this Glory woman? I need to speak to her. Uh, uh, Glory? Glory? Are you in here? I want to talk to you. Is there a decent bed in here? There aren't any decent beds. Oh, Glory's asleep. This isn't good. Should I wake her up? That's probably not a good idea. Um... Ah, oh, this sucks. I know I saved the game, but now I'm really tired, so... Hmm, do I take... Word is, Diamond City is under opposition control. Okay. We can take maybe Nuka Cola. And Nuka Cherry. Right? And that'll just keep us awake. Uh... Long after We're I... We're running synths out of the well. Wastelanders can be a bigger problem than even the Institute. Uh, okay. Good to know. Um, is there anybody else I can talk to during the meantime? I guess we can go talk to this uh, robot over here. Hey, Rook. The name's Drummer Boy. It's my envious job to keep track of all the dead drops, grab incoming agents, and tell them where they're needed. I don't suppose you want to switch places. <laughs> uh, let's try the sarcasm. I don't know. It's supposed to tell me what it is, but... Sure. Hope you know how to use a minigun. Oh, and soak up bullets. Yeah. yeah, you heavies need a lot of punctuality and attention to detail, right? If so, I'm golden. We'll be seeing each other. A lot. <sighs> yeah, this is why I got this uh, speech dialogue mod in the first place, was to... Certainly seen better days, haven't I? Give me the full information on what I was, what my character's about to say, and if it's not even going to do that, then what is the point? What is the point? Ah, uh, I don't know. I, I guess there's nothing of interest. All processes are busy. Pam, don't Processing be like that. Agent, bullseye. Your arrival was not calculated. Cool. Um. Well, I'm here. Well, I'm here. Preliminary adjustments to statistical models complete. Commencing introduction. I was, am, and will most likely be Pam. Predictive analytic machine. <laughs> cool. Do you work for the railroad? Yes. My goals and the railroad organization have a high degree of correlation. They provide data. I provide first-order approximations of the behaviors of all residents of the region, designated Commonwealth. Rephrasing. I predict the future. Ooh, so you're psychic? Uh... You see the future? That is this unit's primary goal. Caution. Biological life forms behave erratically, unpredictably. All output subject to an extremely high margin of error. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um... Just how inaccurate are you? The smaller the group, and the greater the time frame, the less accurate I become. But all predictions are affected by the human element. Operation complete. You are a rogue variable. No current or previous models predict your presence or existence. Query, what is your point of origin? Ooh. Ooh. Why do you want to know? If I cannot explain your existence, future predictive models may have an even greater degree of inaccuracy. I repeat, what is your point of origin? I don't think there's any problem in telling them. Okay. I'm from Vault 111. If that's what you mean. Accessing Vault 111. Cryo Vault. Believed destroyed. Conversation terminated. 
pending construction of new probability matrix. Rephrasing. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, cool. Very, very interesting uh, characters they have in this whole uh, railroad uh, underground secret society that they've got going on. But I really want to talk to Glory, and she's asleep. I don't know whether I should interrupt her. It's hidden forever. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, Piper. I, I'm mad at you, Piper. How dare you shoot me down? My leering advances uh, are supposed to be met with uh, wonder and uh, excitement, but no. Um, okay, so what have I got in terms of charisma right now? I've got seven charisma. Uh, I think we'll just try having a Excuse conversation me. with Glory. Seven charisma is not bad. And how... That that leaves me wondering how exactly I managed to fail that speech check with Piper. Hey, you. You the new heavy? Bullseye. Right? Right. Yeah, that's me. Yep, that's me. I thought so. So the switchboard was crawling with bad guys. Mines and shit, too. Any of that true? Or was Deacon bullshitting me again? <laughs> uh... Uh... Uh, yeah. I didn't do it alone, but yeah, that's about the size of it. That's hardcore. How'd you take down the old HQ? Please tell me you didn't go along with Deacon's in and out like a ghost crap. Hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> There's a lot to be said for ambushing enemies from the shadows. Oh no, another one? <laughs> well, welcome to the party. After what happened to Tommy Whispers, we need another tough son of a bitch that can get shit done. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, Thanks for inviting me. We should, I don't know, bake a cake? Because that's what you do, right? <laughs> they call me Glory, the angel of death, the ass-kicking poster child of a liberated synth. Ooh. Yes, this is, this is the stuff we want to know. Um, so you're a synth? That's what the maid in the Institute stamp on my ass says. You, you haven't... A stamp on your ass? Can I see it? Um, um, test if she's a machine. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, I, I want to know about the Institute. I have a lot of questions about synths, about the Institute. Would you be willing to answer a few? If I have to. I know a whole lot less than you think. Mainly, I did surface detail, combing over ruins and shit for salvage. The few times I was in the Institute proper, all I was to them was their thinking, feeling, hammer. Wow. Wow. Um... What's the Institute like? Clean. Lots of metal and machines. But I really only saw a few rooms of it. The barracks and where I worked. I helped those assholes make more synths. Synth development is what they called it. Ooh, okay. How do they make synths? Damn if I know. The machines are massive, complicated, not like anything I've seen out here. No matter what Des and others say, since ain't human, we're assembled bone by bone, muscle by muscle. I've seen it. I'm gonna hit the range. I need to shoot something now. Wow. Okay. Um. Uh, you're you're clearly not hitting the range, Glory. I. Oh, never mind. Uh, okay. So, yeah, that's that's really interesting. Um, so, Glory is a synth, and she's uh, very got? very adamant that uh, synths are not human. They're very different from human. They are built, constructed on a production line, as you would say, and um, and I, I guess that's somewhat contrary to the railroads uh, or a lot of people's opinion in the railroad uh, where they think that um, synths are essentially uh, no different from a human being and, and I find it interesting that the synth that they have with them is is the one person who disagrees with that uh, not quite sure what to make of that but I don't know I don't know we're just gonna have to um 
continue our investigation into <laughs> the institute and see if we can learn the answer about uh, what a uh, synth, what being a synth truly means. What are synths exactly? Uh, can they be considered uh, essentially equivalent to humans? Uh, is there any uh, any significant distinction between a human being and a synth? Uh, that 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 is in any way meaningful to um expert i can unlock this oh yeah okay we'll do that uh that that is yeah i, I don't know is there a distinction that that is really meaningful or is it all just um people's perceptions of of the differences in origins and and the like um Okay, so we have threatens. I think this is the only thing that comes close. Got it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. No, I didn't, Piper. I really didn't. That took me forever. Um, these expert terminals... Uh, a seriously a pain in the butt. I'm not even sure it was worth... Oh no, that was on already. Uh, getting the hacker skill up to that level anyway, if it's just going to take me that long to work them out. Uh, oh well. Oh well. So what I really need now is a proper bed because... Um, I need somewhere to sleep a full eight hours. Wait, what? No? Oh, I, I unlocked it. Okay. Ah. Ah. Okay. Um, alright. So where do I want to go to from here? Uh, I think possibly I should go back to Diamond City. Um... How do I... Oh, okay. What is that? Oh, it's Brotherhood of Steel. Oh. Yeah, okay. Um... So now that the Brotherhood of Steel are in town, they're going to have patrols and stuff all over the place. Um, I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or not. Uh, I don't... I don't think they're going to be hostile to me or anything. Yeah, they should be fairly cool. Um, and, and, and not attack me on sight. I don't... I don't think... I mean, I, I'm not a member or anything, but, um... Oh, there's ghouls. But yeah, I'm... I, it's not like I'm hostile with them, so it's all cool, right? <laughs> um... Can we get through that? Yeah, we're good. It's fine. There's another one. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So I think what I need to do then is uh, return to Diamond City. It might take me a while to get there though, because this is the streets of Boston at night and I'm going to have to um, possibly fight my way through or... Uh... Uh... Uh, or, or uh, avoid fights. So maybe I will um, <laughs> just cut ahead until I get there. Or no, you know what? Whoa. What was that? 